All right, live from Las Vegas in Spring One Platform, I'm here with James Governor of Redmond. James, how are you? I'm doing great, thank you. I love it. So you're sporting the whole D'Artagnan look, which is uh, which is working for you. Well, that's, that's very <laughs> nice of you to say so. So you just gave a great talk on uh, Java and how it is still relevant. I'll let you just define it further. Yeah, well, I mean, I think that, that you know we've been we've been hearing about the the death of Java for a long time. You know, um, rumors of its demise are you know much exaggerated, I guess. Um, but quite seriously, I mean, I'm an industry analyst, and you know, a lot of the analyst firms were saying Java is dead or Java is a dead end or whatnot. And I was like, well, actually, we spend a lot of time with web companies and web developers, and we're actually seeing a lot of innovation. In Java, I mean, let's not even you know mention Android, which is of course Java, and there's a bunch of cool stuff happening there. But you know, when we look at some of the, there was a, in fact, Tim Bray, um, you know, who was kind of, a, it was interesting. He was like a troublemaker at Sun, you know, writer of the XML spec, and you know, he was always saying that Java was kind of boring. Oh, there's no innovation happening in Java, and. Uh, when you look at what's happening in big data, at least, and that's one of the most important things in the cloud, all of these platforms are written in Java or JVM languages. You know, now you've got kind of all sorts of interesting things, Spark and Kafka. Um, you know, but as you know, Hadoop was you know certainly a, a, a phenomenon of the web. Um, and uh, you know, why did Doug Cutting make the decision to build in Java? He felt it was more maintainable and they could scale it. So you know, Twitter and. Um, you know, Facebook is now a huge Java shop. You know, Twitter's on the JCP. Um, all of these companies are, you know, when you're you're, you're doing high-scale systems that are, need to be maintainable, and you need to be able to hire developers to work on them. It turns out that Java is still an important part of the, uh, the, the 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 cloud native infrastructure build out. So, what is happening as far as innovation goes in Java? I'm assuming it's it's not the the fast, if ever was super fast uh, pace, but what, what's happening there as, as we move forward with Java? Well, I mean, I think it's interesting because it, it, it sort of, you know, the, the, the it's, it's ironic. I mean, you know, the old sun thing of innovation happens elsewhere. Well, that's definitely the case in Java because, you know, I don't think everyone's like, hey, look at all this amazing stuff that Oracle built. Um, you know, it, to be fair, they, they've continued to push the platform, platform forward. Um, but there are just a ton of frameworks. There are multiple centers of gravity. I mean, the Apache Software Foundation, um, you know, as, as a place where uh, big data uh, code is managed. Um, and, you know, I, I think that, that, that it's, you know, sometimes, maybe it's almost like the innovation is because there isn't as much community leadership as there might be. So people have just kind of got on with it. And so, last but not least, Java going forward. What do you, what do you see as the over the next few years? Yeah, well, I mean, you know, if if it was a fall, if it was a rise and fall and rise again of Java. I mean, look, there are other languages out there that are getting attention. I mean, a lot of people like Go for systems programming. Um, you know, Python is, is is you know certainly interesting in and around the data side of things. Um, you know, but we'll continue to see, I think, a multi-language world, and there's room for upside innovation in Java. I mean, you know, there's, there's this, you know, Spring Boot is is a legitimate deal. I mean, you know, people are really interested in that, and the companies that are doing Java are also going to want to do like Java on on Cloud Foundry. Um, so, you know, I think we will see cloud-native Java, and you know, that's the bottom line. And you know, if the platform is is revitalized for that, which seems to be happening, then, yeah, that's definitely a, a three- to five-year horizon. Very cool. James Governor, thank you very much. Thank you, Bon.